Budget Highlights 2020. Now, what are some of the important points for all of us to remember and acknowledge as the budget has already been announced and most of the aspects are clear in front of the people. Now, three most prominent themes of the budget is aspirational India, economic development for all and caring society. Now, when once we talk about aspirational India, it is better standards of living with access to health, education and better jobs for all sections of the society. The second aspect is economic development for all, Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Vishwas. Caring society, both human and compassionate, Anant Antyodhya as an article of faith. Now, some of the important highlights of the budget is the expenditure. The government proposes to spend 30,42,230 crores in 2021, which is 12.7% higher than the revised estimate of 2019. <coughs> now, the government is expected to receive uh, around 22,45,893 crore owing to higher estimate revenue from disinvestment. So, this year, the government has planned disinvestment in many of the uh, government uh, enterprises such as LIC and other insurance companies. GDP, the government has assumed a nominal GDP growth rate of 10%, that is real growth plus inflation in 2021. 20, uh, revenue deficit is a targeted at 2.7% of GDP and physical deficit at 3.5% of GDP. Now, if you talk about the sectors, let's talk about agriculture sector first. The budget allocation of 2.83 lakh crore is for agriculture and allied activities. Doubling of farmers' income by 2022 is the main priority. Agri credit availability is set at 15 lakh crore for 2021. Comprehensive measures for 100 water stress districts provide 12 lakh farmers to set up standalone solar pumps, help another 15 lakh farmers to solarize their power grid. Village storage scheme proposed to be run by women SHGs. Indian railways to have refrigerated coaches capability in Kisan trains to carry perishable and milk. Krishi Udan on international and national routes. Jaivik Kheti portal online national organic products made to be market to be strengthened. <coughs> the other sector is economy and finance. Now, bank deposit insurance cover has been increased from Rs 1 lakh to Rs 5 lakh per depositor, which will in turn increase the confidence of the people in the banking system, which will help the banking system to get more funds. Government plans to amend the Companies Act to decriminalize civil offence. Uh, government to sell part of its stake in LIC via public offering. Let's talk about health and sanitation. Allo allocation in health and sanitation has been around 69,000 crore for health sector. 12,300 crore for Swachh Bharat proposal to set up hospitals in tier 2 and tier 3 cities with private using PPP. To expand the Jan Aushadi scheme to provide for all hospitals under Ayushman Bharat by 2025. For education sector, 99,300 crore has been allocated in 2021, about 3,000 crore for skill development. Uh, urban local bodies to be provided with internship to young engineers for a year. Degree level full fledged online education programs by institutions ranked in top 100, especially to benefit underprivileged students. A national police university and a national forensic science university is proposed to be set up. INSAT exam for students of Asia and Africa to promote study in India program. The other tech sector, which is the prime importance, is the infrastructure. The budget proposes to provide 1.7 lakh crore for transport infrastructure in 2021. National logistic policy to be released soon, Chennai Bangalore Expressway to be started. Aim to achieve electrification of 27,000 kilometers of lines, plan to have a large solar power capacity for Indian railways. The government also proposes a Bangalore suburban rail project at cost of 18,600 crores. Government to monetize 12 lots of national highway by 2024. 100 more airports will be developed by 2024 to support Odan. Five new smart cities in public-private partnership mode. Delhi Mumbai Expressway to be completed by 2023. So if we talk about the income, uh, the tax uh, breakup which the government has come up, uh, it is in way to simplify the tax regime, but 
once we go at the two options which has been provided to the people it is a bit more complicated i believe so so these are the tax labs taxation over 70 deductions uh, have been removed companies will no longer be required to pay dividend distribution tax aadhar based verification for gst compliance to be introduced aadhar based quick assurance of pan announced tax on cigarettes and other tobacco produced to be increased audit the threshold of msme raised to rupees 5 crore from rupees 1 crore so this is the key budgetary allocation for agriculture 1.38 lakh crore rural development 1.23 lakh crore agriculture and rural allocation combined together 2.83 uh, agriculture credit target is 15 lakh crore education allocation is 99,300 crore healthcare is 69,000 crore transport infrastructure allocation is 1.7 lakh crore so I hope this video would be very informative and would have helped you to gain an insight of the budget in a very brief way thank you